here come Alice and Jerry and Eddie on their way to school. Uh-oh, what does Alice see? Disputing over who should ride the tricycles certainly spoils their play. It isn't any fun, and besides, it's dangerous. Someone's likely to be hurt. And just think, all this time they could be having fun on the tricycle. Yes, it's better to settle our disagreements quickly and fairly. And so Eddie offers to help settle this one. But each wants the tricycle all to himself. Eddie, that they share the tricycle. That's certainly more fun than disputing over it, isn't it? We call this way of settling a dispute a compromise. That's when neither has his own way entirely. They both give in a little and share the bike. And here's another way to compromise. Take turns driving the bike. Often, as we play or work together, we have to compromise to settle some of our disputes. But did you know that there are different kinds of disputes and different ways to settle them? Let's watch for them as we go on to school. On the school grounds, Eddie and Jerry rush off to play ball. And Alice goes to play jump rope with the others. She doesn't try to break up the game. She shares and waits her turn. Compromises are one way to settle some disputes quickly and fairly and prevent other disputes parting, such as who shall drink first at the fountain. Meanwhile, Jerry and Eddie are playing work-up baseball. Oh, Bill really hit that one. Good catch, Jerry. And the rule is, Jerry gets to bat next. And Bill changes places with Jerry in the field. So Bill wants to use Jerry's new glove. But Jerry won't let him. How would you settle this dispute? Well, the glove belongs to Jerry so he can share it or not as he likes. Since Jerry's glove is just new, we can't blame Jerry now. Later, when the glove is not so new, he'll probably agree to share the glove. The bat and ball, though, belong to the school, so we all do share them. That's the rule. So here's another way to settle some kinds of buttes. Obey the rules. There are rules about common property we share, such as the ball and bat, and rules about personal property, such as Jerry's glove. There are rules for playing games and many other kinds of rules. If we know and obey the rules, many disputes can be settled quickly and fairly. It's the rule that this part of the playground is for the little folks only. So if we all obey the rules, we won't have many disputes. There's a rule that all bicycles should be put away in these racks, and obeying this rule will help prevent disputes. And when it's time to go into school, there are rules about which doors to use and which way to go inside. Rules are planned to help us prevent problems and disputes. There's another kind of dispute that can be settled in another way, like this. But you saw it. I did not give it back. Wait a minute, Alice. Are you sure you didn't leave your notebook in your desk? I'm sorry, Heather. I made a mistake. That's all right. I got mine yesterday. What caused this dispute? It happened because Alice didn't have all the facts. We need to find the facts. Alice's notebook was in her desk. And Harold has a new notebook just like hers. These facts are all that are needed to settle the dispute. So let's remember to find the facts. Sometimes we have to hunt for the facts. This way. Miss William, 
What's a bandersnatch? A what? A bandersnatch. There isn't any such thing. There isn't even any such word. There is, too. It's in a poem I read. Miss Williams, isn't there such a word? <laughs> Where do you think you could find out? We could look it up in the dictionary. Yes, let's. Jerry and Betty don't need to argue. They can easily find out who is right. Find the facts, and you can settle the dispute. Bandersnatch. A fabulous animal in Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. See? That's where I read about it. A fabulous. Does that mean it isn't a real animal, just a made-up one? In this case, Yes. Yeah. There is such a word. It does help to find the facts. Morning. I want you to start thinking about choosing a representative for the playground committee. The committee will help decide what kinds of equipment to buy and what safety rules to make for the playground. Now, we must choose someone to represent our class on that committee. I think Jerry, because he can play baseball like anything. And besides, he's got a new baseball glove. Yeah, Jerry's a good choice. We want someone who knows a lot about games. Oh, that doesn't matter so much. We want someone who gets along with people. So I think it should be Eddie. Eddie knows how to settle arguments. He can play baseball pretty well, too. Let's put Eddie on the committee. Jerry! Eddie! 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 How shall we choose our representative? How shall we settle this? How can this dispute be settled? Well, we know some different ways of settling disputes. Will one of them help here? A compromise helps settle some disputes. Each person gives in a little bit, and then both can have part of what they wanted. But how would a compromise help choose between Eddie and Jerry? They can't both be on the committee. And they can take turns. No, that won't help. Obey the rules? Well, some disputes can be settled this way. But the only rule to follow in choosing a representative is to choose the best person for the job. Who is best? How can we decide? What about finding the facts? That's often a good way to settle disputes. But we need more than the facts here. Jerry knows more about games, and Eddie knows more about getting along with people. But which one should we choose? We need a different way to settle this problem. I have an idea, Miss Williams. We want either Jerry or Eddie to be on the committee. You tell us which one you think it should be, and he'll be the one. Well, I could do that. Sometimes we do use a judge or arbiter or an umpire to give us his opinion and settle questions that way. But don't you think everyone should help choose our representative? Oh, you mean an election. Let's vote for the one. There we are. That's a good idea. Alice and Betty will count the votes in the election to find the opinion of the class. Often we need to find opinions to settle our disputes. Sometimes you'll want the opinion of some expert or judge. Sometimes you'll want to take a vote to get the opinion of the whole group. Finding opinions is the way we settle many important questions. That's the way we'll settle this question. Now, let's see. Jerry gets 12 votes, and Eddie? Fifteen votes. Eddie wins. So he's elected to be on the playground committee. And look, this dispute was settled fairly, and so Jerry and Eddie are still good friends, just as they always were. It's worthwhile to know many ways to settle disputes. Yeah.